New Mexico's Hot Chefs is brought to you in part by Gen Air, where innovation has finally caught up with your appetite for the extraordinary. Bavacci, what a great Italian name. What does that mean? Uh, it actually means lively. Lively. So we're going to do like some lively pasta or what's going on here? Yep, we're going to start off with some uh, fresh pasta dough. Mm -hmm. And then next we're going to use that dough to make some shrimp ravioli with mm. a real nice spicy fresh tomato sauce. Wow. And then panna cotta, which is um, an Italian custard with some espresso and whipped cream and cinnamon on top. Mm, I'm excited. Let's get started on this. So, uh, you know, there's an empty spot here. You're just going to throw it and get one on it, right? Yeah, um, despite what a lot of people think, pasta dough is actually very simple, straightforward. Um, we do it a lot in my family, all together. Um, and I've been hearing of people getting together and doing pasta parties these days, and it's actually really fun. So, Let's do it. Let's okay, do it. I'm great. Ready. So we'll start with flour. Right. Uh, we're just going to pour this down on our work surface. Wow. I like this already. Mm -hmm. I'll put this out of your way. So what are you doing here? You're going to make a little bowl? I'm going to make a well in. in the middle. You know the kids are going to like this one already. So, you know, this recipe, you can get it on NewMexicosHotChefs.com. We're just going to mix the milk in with the eggs that we have here. What if you put too much milk? They're going to do anything to it? Um, it'll make the pasta dough a little bit wetter. So uh, the drier we want the dough, um, the less liquidy we add. This is a stuffed dough recipe. Right. So if we were not stuffing this pasta, we'd omit the milk. Wow. So, and then this is just plain table salt. I'm just mm -hmm. going to sprinkle a little bit. We don't need a lot. We'll get some more salt in this later. And then we're just going to use a fork here to kind of gradually get flour into the eggs. So this is going to turn into like a ball and then we're just going to knead it a little mm -hmm. bit. So can you flop pasta? I mean, can you make a mistake on it and not get it? Uh, you kind of can, but really you can adjust it later and fix it later. So you shouldn't ever be afraid to try stuff like this because um, no matter what you do with it, it's really going to be pretty tasty. So what do you think of this Gen Air kitchen? It's pretty impressive. It is. Yeah, it's great. It is awesome. Um, well, I see a little contraption thing here. Is that what you're going to make the pasta thing in? Once we get the dough formed um, and kneaded properly, we're going to run it through that down to the thickness we want, and then we'll go ahead and stuff it. So I've got a nice little consistency here in the middle where it's not going to go swimming away on me. Cool. So I can start to just bring in quite a bit of flour now to the middle. I'm going to ask you a dumb question, but people out there probably want to know. What if you put this in the machine? It's just not going to work and mix it all. You know, up. I find that you just can't make adjustments quick enough in a in a in a machine, and right. it's really not that hard to do by hand. Um, so it really is worth um, giving it a shot by hand. So you can see it kind of looks like a mess right now. It's looking like it's coming along pretty good. Yeah, but it's starting to come together. So once we get it formed into a mass, we're just going to push all our excess flour kind of out of the way, mm -hmm. and then start kneading the dough. Now the difficult part about pasta dough is you have to knead it a full 10 minutes. Um, you really can't cheat or you just won't get the consistency you want. So what do you do? Put a timer on and wait yep. bing, and it's Just ready put to your go oven on. timer on and <laughs> pass it around the kitchen three minutes a piece or something and you're done. So um, we got a nice dough started here. We'll just keep kneading and gradually adding flour. And then when it's done, it needs to rest. You can already see how elastic this dough is. It's really bouncing back. Oh, yeah, looking good. So we rest this and um, some of that elasticity will go away and what we end up with is a beautiful, smooth, um, textured, very durable dough. Oh wow, is it? And this is all ready to roll stiff, up. stiff, yeah. Yeah, so it's real nice and tight. It's a little bit elastic, but it won't bounce too much. So we should be able to roll this out real nice and make some ravioli. Cool. Um, we'll be right back with more New Mexico's Hot Chefs. Next on New Mexico's Hot Chefs, it's time to make the ravioli. Don't change that dial. 